Welcome back. This time we're going to go over a component I personally wrote, and I'm quite proud of it. It's a button edit color X. It lets you edit colors at the push of a button and also a context menu item. But more on that in our context menu series coming soon. But we're going to do it in a button today. Hopping over here into smooth POV of my dev tip, I'm going to create two things. First of all, I'm going to create a material with create object or create new, sorry, materials, and then PBS metallic. That gives us a material. And then I'm going to do create new object legacy UI button. I'm going to inspect the button, scroll to the bottom of the buttons inspector window, go to attach component, common UI, button interactions, and then button edit color X. With that done, I'm going to grab the albedo color of the material and drop it into the target of button edit color X. And we're done. If I click button here, then you'll see that the color picker opens up and I can change the materials color. And then I can hit save. And this works at any distance. So if I'm over here, I can change the color over there. There you go. There are a couple of options here at the uh, bottom. Um, for button edit color X. Uh, continuous will, um, if that's disabled, it won't update the color until you hit save on the um, on the color dialog. That's good for sort of stealthier color changes. If you want it to be red and then green and you don't want to show, you know, you getting lost or messing around or mixing up colors, you turn off continuous and you'd start on red, you'd change it to green, you'd hit save and it would go there. Um, alpha will um, enable or disable the ability for the color selector to have alpha support and HDR does the same on the color selector there. That's all there is to it for button edit color X. I will see you again later. Bye. -bye.